All right, so we just talked about how uh, we listen to understand the speaker's perspective. The next skill we're gonna talk about is asking open-ended questions. When we listen to understand, remember, we're trying to understand how the world looks like to the other person. We're trying to understand what their emotional reaction to that worldview is. And then we're trying to understand what they want from us. What do they want us to do about it? Do they want empathy? Do they want advice? Do they want us to change? Uh, so these are the things we want to discover when we're listening to understand. And open-ended questions are a tool that we can use to discover these things. Uh, so when you think about what an open-ended question is, don't focus on it too much. I mean, it's just a question that helps you discover how the other person sees the world, how they feel about it, and what they want from you. Open-ended questions are tools to achieve that. So the technical definition of an open-ended question, the, the definition you're probably familiar with, is that an open-ended question uh, is a question that you cannot answer with yes or no. Uh, and that's technically true. I'm using open-ended questions here in a, a much broader sense. Uh, an open-ended question is a question that encourages the speaker to elaborate more deeply. Uh, so, continuing with Tommy's bad cartoons, which is the theme of this lecture, apparently. Uh, here's Where's Waldo drinking at a bar, saying to himself, nobody ever asks, how's Waldo? Uh, no one ever asks him these emotion, these uh, open-ended questions, these, these deeper ones about how he's feeling, right? It's these closed-ended questions of where are you? Hilarious. So here's some examples of open-ended questions that you can ask. Can you say more about that? Tell me more about that. Whatever topic it is, elaborate. What makes you think that? Can you give me an example of what you mean by that? And of course, my, my psychologist is showing here. How does that make you feel? Uh, I get a lot of flack for this. People always tell me that, that is, they would always feel like a jerk asking this, like, how does that make you feel? Uh, I use this all the time at cocktail parties and stuff. Um, yeah, how do you feel about that? Or sometimes I'll do it like, man, that would make me really angry. What's your reaction to it? Uh, something like that. Um, I always try and drive conversations towards emotional content. I think it's easier to connect to people uh, when you're talking when, when you're talking about how they feel about something rather than the thing itself. Uh, so I, I really do uh, use this when I'm talking to people and use this when I'm trying to get people to talk to me. Uh, you got to do these skillfully though, right? Now, open-ended questions are really useful for this thing we call immediacy. Immediacy is the emotional experience of the speaker as they are speaking. Uh, immediacy is basically how does the person feel as they're talking to you. This can often differ from the emotional content of the uh, whatever they're saying. So, uh, you know, I can tell you a story of, about, you know, something I did in high school and the emotional content of the story is like how embarrassed I was, right? I did something really embarrassing. Uh, and so the emotional content of the story is embarrassment. And yet, you know, that's 20 years ago now. So as I'm telling the story, I'm laughing. Um, my, my immediacy, my immediate emotional reaction might be happiness, humor, whatever it is. Uh, so uh, that, that's what immediacy is. It's not necessarily the emotional content of what the person is saying. It's how they feel when they talk about it. Uh, and often this is really important. Um, so uh, I'll combine this with observing nonverbal behavior, which we'll talk about next. And uh, I might say something like, oh, wow, you know, I, I really, I see you uh, clenching your jaw as you're talking about this. Does this really upset you? Um, or I'll say something like, oh, you know, whenever you talk about this new job, a smile lights up your face. Like this, you must be really happy about this. And uh, that's what we mean by immediacy, is driving the conversation towards talking about the person's um, in vivo emotional experience during the conversation.